Here's something that just arrived today, another birthday present. Let's have a little look and see. Look at this. It does look a lot like ginger. Let's just try to get it out of there. And there it is. It is actually cardamom. I really love this, the cardamom spice. So you love it in curries and things like chai tea. Beautiful. But it also, interestingly enough, is used a lot in Scandinavian cuisine. We make like sweet rolls out of them. And I always wondered why such a sort of exotic spice was so popular in Scandinavia. And it turns out that the Vikings actually, well, they were also traders as well as pillagers. They were traders too. And they discovered the spice. They found it down in the markets in Turkey and brought it back. And then it got really popular in cookery in Scandinavia. So, so interesting. I love that kind of interesting historic fact. So, um, yeah, I'm planning to hope that it will flower and then I'll get some lovely seeds. But even if I don't, the leaves themselves are meant to be really tasty. I'll use them in curries. It's supposed to have like a little bit of a cinnamony flavor, but I'll, I'll see what I think they taste like. Um, and I can also maybe use them in teas and also in cookery. So, it looks a little bit worse for wear. I wonder if it got a bit cold because it was meant to come within 24 hours. It looks quite dried out. It looks like it's actually been cold. So I'm hoping it will be okay after being inside for a bit. Warm up, give it a bit of a drink and see how it does. But a really fun spice plant to have in the house. I'll keep it as an indoor plant. It is obviously tropical, so it is tropical, so I need to keep it indoors. If we just look at the bottom, it looks a little bit pot bound, like it needs a new upsize. So I might have to get him something. At the moment, I'm going to keep it in this and then find a new bigger pot to repot him into. And I'll give him a bit of a drink because the soil does look a bit on the dry side. So yeah, I'll give it a little drink to help it settle it in and get over the shock of transportation. I hope it didn't get too cold because it was really cold out there right now. I'll have a little look. So I've given it a bit of a spray now with some water, some rainwater, and a bit of a drink. And it needs indirect sunlight, but a nice lit position, well lit position. So I've got it here behind some of the other plants and hope it'll be happy here.